Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another game make tutorial by Rex Furry. Let's start by getting this out of the way. Okay, and oh my goodness, what is this? Um, certainly not a new project or anything. Um, yeah, let's get to the tutorial here. Um, so basically today, uh, this is a request tutorial by the way. Um, I am going to show you guys how to create a, uh, an object, like a player object, um, with a walking animation. Okay? Now, this is just the way I do it. It's kind of glitchy at times. Um, I plan to create a new way um, whenever I get around to it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, for now, it's just kind of how I'm going to do it now. So, uh, yeah, also, if I find a new, better way to do it, or if you guys know a better way to do it, uh, please feel free to post it in the comments. And, uh, yeah, I'll test it out. And if it works, I'll make a new video, uh, excuse me, a new tutorial. Uh, video about how to do it, and I will make sure to give credit to you, and uh, yeah. So anyway, let's get started here. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new sprite, obviously. All right, and I'm just going to name this little sprite SPR underscore player, all right, and uh, underscore idle, and uh, one more underscore, and let's go R. Okay, so for his, this is basically the uh, standing still uh, sprite facing right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the sprite. Uh, I'm going to just keep it 32 by 32. And I'm going to do this uh, pretty fast. I'm not really going to explain too much what I'm doing right now. All right. So, um, actually, I'm going to undo that here. And I'm going to go like that. Okay. And I'm j all I'm doing is basically creating the sprites right now. All right, put a leg right there and a leg right there. Okay, and let's see, I'll save changes. Actually, copy that. Okay, and I'm just going to duplicate this, name it the same name, really quick, except for with an L. All right, there we are, and there we are, and I'm just going to flip this. There we are, and duplicate this one now. All right, and name it the same thing, except for instead of the idle, I'm going to go run. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just very simply, let's see, copy that and paste that. Okay, I'm going to very simply just kind of move his legs around so it looks like he's running. All right, let's see, bring that over, recolor that line in. Okay, show a preview to see what I'm working with here. And I don't think that's the right one that I wanted to copy. There we go. Copy and paste that. Zoom in. All right. Just move his leg over a little bit. Let's see what that's looking like. And I'm just going to keep it like that. I know it's like incomplete and everything. But I'm also going to move this over here. Um, because basically, um, if you were to keep the original um, idle left sprite right there in the first uh, beginning, uh, when you press like the left button or whatever, if you just like press it really quick and then let go, it won't really look like he's walking. Cause it will just keep the first like sprite in the um, in the uh, indexes here. So yeah. Um, anyway, next thing I'm going to do is just duplicate this. All right, name it the same name. All right, copy, whoa. All right, copy this. And I'm just going to paste the name because it's the same exact thing except for within R. Okay. And I just realized this has an R on it. All right, put an L there. Okay, there we are. And I'm just going to transform, flip this. Okay, so now we have all our sprites, our uh, idle sprite left and right, and our idle or running sprite right and left. Okay, so I'm just going to show you really quick, uh, create an object, how to make it so when you like press the left key, it uh, shows your player with its running animation, and when you like, um, when you just like stop or whatever, it shows its idle animation. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just name this obj underscore player, okay? And for my sprite, I'm just going to choose my uh, idle uh, right sprite. I'm going to go add event, and I'm going to go, let's see, keyboard left. All right, and I'm just going to do some simple movement here. You guys don't have to do this if you already have movement. 
All right, and just do a negative three there. All right. Uh, and by the way, for those of you who are wondering in my videos why I usually, um, well, most of my videos, why I usually do everything from scratch on my tutorials is um, just so you guys can kind of see what's going on, what I've done. Because, I mean, I don't really like to start out um, with all my stuff pre-made. Because, I mean, then that just kind of leaves questions, you know, how did you do this? and Or what is that? It's just a sprite, you know, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, so that's why I like to do everything from scratch on my tutorials. So, uh, yeah. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, this is what you guys need to do. All right, uh, add event, and you have to go, let's see, key press left. And remember, this is just how I do it. Um, there's probably a way better way, but uh, yeah. All right, and click and drag over a chain sprite. And for the sprite, just choose your player running sprite, okay? And I'm going to uh, tone down the speed to 0 0.5. Okay, and then do the same thing for a key press but right event. All right, and choose your player uh, running right sprite. All right, and uh, now all we need to do is key release left and choose a drag over a change sprite from the main one tab. It and see, choose your player idle right sprite. And I'm just going to put speed zero, even though I didn't really have anything else. Okay, and I'm just going to duplicate that. And key release left. All right. And I'm just going to choose my player idle left. Okay. And that's all you need to do. Uh, I'm just going to hit OK. Create a room. Uh, put your player somewhere in your room. And I'm going to uh, switch to a different view really quick. So um, I will see you guys in just a second. Hey, everyone. How's it going? I am back. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. So as we can see, um, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have our little character here, and when I press the right arrow key on my keyboard, as you can see, his little legs kind of go, uh, start walking, and when I press the right button, his legs do the same thing, and I just realized that I forgot to do something for the uh, key press, um, or key release um, right, because as you can see, his legs are still going. I just did something wrong with the chain sprite, but as you can see, it works with the key press left. Okay, so you can go back and change that stuff if you need to or whatever, but uh, I'm not going to because you guys kind of get the idea. Okay, so uh, that's how to kind of uh, make a game with animation or with your player having animation or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys next tutorial. Feel free, uh, excuse me, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Uh, but uh, feel free to uh, subscribe, and, yeah, thanks for watching, and until next video, I guess, see ya.